That's a big boy. Remember in yesterday's vlog where I mentioned like if my nicer bikes aren't working particularly at a perfect level, I just kind of don't want to ride them. And then I tried to fix the TRP slates on this for the like fourth time. Well, there's this thing I used to do when it came to Volkswagens and BMX and it was, if it's not working or if it's broken or like whatever, delete it. And then you never have to think about it anymore. So if they're not there, they can't be broken. I am a solutions person, not a problems person. tame up to this point but there's a downhill coming up here this will be the, the true test of scrubbing speed like I'm on a BMX just skid 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 there's a corner coming up I can make this corner I know I can yeah 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 Ooh, that's uh that's a little sketchy but doable whoa whoa Now, thankfully, this trail is relatively tame and quite forgiving for kind of a lot of mistakes. At least for the little bit of it that I'm gonna ride. This is a little sketchy, but it's okay, got it. Whew. It's nice I've walked this before I've come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Around and around, look where you wanna go. It's all about looking where you wanna go. Okay, I think that'll pretty well do it. Two things. First, pretty interesting exercise in bike control. Two, I don't think it'll catch on. Now my brain has brought it to my attention that you just might be wondering where Norton is. Why is he not here? Fair question. Maybe it's the same where you're at, but ticks are super bad this year. So I prefer bring Norton out on paved and asphalt areas so that he doesn't have to like, you know, get bit. Possibly me too. Also, the unpredictability of no brakes and a border collie. You're already familiar with part one of gussying up the Spindat backyard deck situation, which involved, of course, solar powered LED lights and uh, this carpet. This chair that I built last year is making an appearance for part two 
of the Backyard Deck Gussie Up project. Yes! I've never been so happy about my own poor build quality. Thankfully, thankfully there's a mark here that's like the same thickness as the cushion, which is just kind of the thickness of this two by four. So I'm just gonna like, instead of measuring anything and doing it properly, I'm just gonna like line it up with the bottom line of where the two by four was and drill it in. Impact drills are the best thing that ever happened to the world. I think this front piece off should be done. I'm gonna go ahead and say there's probably a better way to attach it than screwing it in diagonally from the top and bottom. It's funny, I did glue these, it's just, it's all so bad that it didn't grab. I don't know if this is like the right way per se, but obviously I was too lazy or just incompetent to do it the first time but i'm going to drill holes in the side of the leg here for screws to go in through so they're not going in at weird angles and not really seemingly successful endeavor can i do it again Two for two. Phase two, part one of gussying up the backyard deck. Major, major success. Both chairs very much ready for cushioned life and all built with reclaimed shed wood from the previous owner of the house and uh, zero, zero dollars spent. I was like a little concerned that this wasn't gonna come apart and I'd have to rebuild them. That would have super sucked because wood's really expensive. So I'm floating way up here on no money, very well spent. The next step is to take like these modern two by four chairs and build a matching like table to go here. We don't want a table quite this tall. We want more like a like a dining room, family room style one that you put your feet on. And then a matching this of a love seat back here so that we can like sit here and possibly like watch movies on our laptop or something with the lights on. And uh, yeah, overall just like super enjoy the summer where it kind of seems like we're not gonna get to enjoy a whole lot else in the world in the summer. So this may as well be sweet. That's it, that's the end of this video.